In case you don't know, I'm Del Rivers, um, the actor. <laughs> when the great Orson Welles, or maybe it was Alfred Hitchcock, was asked what he thought of actors, he often referred to them as cattle. Well, Frank Stamm thinks of actors more as purple cows instead. I realized Frank Stamm's brand of genius after watching his first short film, which was a spinning fan filmed in black and white, with movement behind it in the shadows. Amazing stuff like fire and ice and other themes pop up in his work surely by accident, but he, has, he just has the knack to control or distort nature. Some think, some think he's a hard ass to work with, but he exemplifies Katherine Hepburn's favorite expression, to make it in Hollywood, you need to have the height of a rhinoceros and the soul of a butterfly. Here he is, director Frank Stam. I'd like to welcome the cast of various Frank Stam films here tonight. Del Rivers, James Greco, Craig Watkins, Laura Tierney, Deb Amesbury, Bob Wyand. For those guests of cast members in attendance wondering what you're here for, my name is Frank Stam, and I'm sort of a what if that might interest you if you've ever thought for a moment that you might like to make a film. In 2008, with no experience making films and no film school background, I decided I wanted to become a motion picture director. And not just any motion picture director, Western New York's best. And the challenge myself was that I wanted to become this world-class director within 10 YouTube videos. Tonight, I'll be showing you some previously released work. Also be debuting some new work, my first made with a decent prosumer camera rather than a typical home video camera. Some of my films, my 10 films have been quite long. Video 5 ran 38 minutes, some as short as 3 minutes. I don't include them in my count of 10 videos on the way to becoming a world class director, but I've also produced some music videos over the last couple of years and I'll be showing you two of those tonight. Tonight, one of the films, I'll warn you ahead of time, is less a film than audio set to still pictures, but I think it's important you see it. It's titled Director's Council Award Ceremony. This is primarily the audio from a presentation I gave at the Western New York Director's Yearly Award Ceremony in which I honored Del Rivers, an actor in many of my films, and my presentation apparently, apparently offended a lot of the actors in the audience that night who appear in the work of other directors. The Director's Council has been in discussion about a half year regarding my possible expulsion from the organization, <laughs> a development that has been properly weighing on my mind. The first film of the night, an interview with actor James Greco from 2010. This is an interview with actor James Greco following the completion of my fifth video, The 38 Minute Cypress Springs. Like the music videos I've directed and produced, I don't include interviews as part of my 10 video countdown to world class competency because you don't plot them in any meaningful way, but what you learn making them can help you later on. I learned a lot about editing conversations, putting that piece together. This was my first video following Cypress Springs and most of my videos following Cypress had a sort of basic professionalism that wasn't always apparent on the earlier work. Cypress Springs has a lot of technical problems, but it was the one that uh, really made a filmmaker out of me. And then it got me thinking about things such as white balance, level tripods, light reflectors. Second film of the night, Success Story. This is the only film I've made scripted by the lead actor in most of my productions, Del Rivers. He had an idea for this while we were filming Cypress Springs and I knocked it out one day after the day's scheduled shooting had been completed. Third film of the night, The Blind Neighbor from 2011. This is a seven minute film I came up with a concept for, co-directed with my cousin and then edited. This is the only film where I've co-directed rather than directed. It was made with my cousin's camera, a good prosumer camera, at the time I didn't own one myself. This is my first film made with something better than a standard home video camera. The Blind Neighbor played at the Little Theater in Rochester as part of their emerging filmmaker series. It's number six on my official list of 10 films. And it's interesting to observe. That while the Director's Council added this film to their database of notable local works prior to last year's award ceremony, it has since been deleted from the website. And this before there has even been an official vote to expel me from the organization. They should thank their stars they didn't delete a film I directed. If they deleted a film I directed rather than one I only co-directed, when I found that film deleted from their website, I would have taken that as provocation to drag those half-talent hipsters out of bed by their nylons and make them eat dirt. <laughs> Not even dirt. A combination of dirt, raw sewage, and sweet tarts. A candy which I hate. I wouldn't even classify sweet tarts as candy. They're more a novelty item. 
something to be sold next to soap that turns your hands black and snakes that pop out of cans. I think the director's council should keep that thread in mind as they weigh my possible expulsion. <laughs> Fourth film of the night, Cypress Springs, part two of five parts from 2010. This is an eight minute segment of the 38 minute film Cypress Springs. This segment features Deb Amesbury is the voice of the drive through speaker. Some noticeably crooked camera shots in this one, but it was a learning experience. Fifth film of the night, Duesenberg All the Way from 2010. This is a music video for a song I produced. It features the band that scores most of my films, Fudge Club, and the lead actor in most of my productions, Del Rivers, as vocalist. Sixth film of the night, It Is to Freshen from 2012, another music video, a portion of which can be seen in the promo for Quadruple A Studios. And on a related note, Despite the fact that it's typical in productions by members of the Director's Council for them to hedge their bets any way possible because they don't have an original idea between the lot of them, it still came as a surprise to me that they would approach the band Fudge Club behind my back and request the band's help scoring one of the Council's films after I've been instrumental in developing the band's sound. The band and I have worked up a song for the Director's Council we're about to send to them. It's a disposable little number we've titled, If You're Not Top Dog in the Pile, and Frank Stam is top dog in the pile. If you're not top dog in the pile, sooner or later you can expect to get wet. <laughs> Note to the director's council, enjoy getting wet courtesy of Frank Stam, you human hydrants. <laughs> Seventh film of the night, Dictator for Hire from 2009. The earliest film showing tonight made in 2009 is basically an illustrated monologue I wrote one day on the way to work. And I'm showing it in part because the final film tonight, The Norm Karsh Story, is also an illustrated monologue, and you can contrast the two, Norm, Norm Karsh being a lot more complex. The eighth film of the night, the aforementioned Director's Council Award Ceremony. The ninth film of the night, Sandwich, from 2012. This new film, debuting tonight, was made with a prosumer camera of my own and features the two characters who appeared in the film The Blind Neighbor. It was shot very quickly on a rainy day. The rain looked so much like it might start falling at any time I didn't use a tripod. I wanted to be able to hide the camera in the bag instantly at the first drop of rain, and I didn't want to have to wrestle with disengaging the camera from a tripod to give you an idea how close the huge downpour seemed to loom. Rain is a scary thought when it's about to pour and you're using a camera you couldn't afford to purchase again. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing full well that if, the camera should, that if the camera should become damaged by rain, members of the demonic ultra-liberal and socialistic Western New York Directors Council would revel in the tragedy. <laughs> Tenth film of the night, Quadruple A promo from 2012. A promo I did for Quadruple A Studios and their new production facilities in Sodoc, New York. Like Sandwich, it's also been shot with a good prosumer camera and is debuting tonight. You can see making cameos in this one, actors Del Rivers, James Greco, and the band Fudge Club, a.k.a. Three Tentacle Eye. And the final film tonight will, e will either be The Norm Karsh Profile, 2012, which will be debuting tonight of shown, or I may decide instead to show you a rough cut of the first 10 minutes of a 50-minute film I'm currently working on called The Astronaut Upstairs. The Norm Karsh profile was started to give me a chance to experiment with a new prosumer camera, work out the kinks for the much larger astronaut. Both films integrate illustrations into the narrative, and I wanted to experiment doing so on the shorter film first. Regardless of which film I run tonight to cap the show, the finished Norm Karsh, pro Karsh profile, or the 10-minute rough cut of Astronaut, I hope to have you all back sometime to see the full Astronaut Upstairs when it's completed. It's in the editing stage at the moment with a couple scenes still to be shot. If it isn't shown tonight, the Norm Karsh profile will debut online sometime in the immediate future. In conclusion, considering I might not make it to next year's Western New York Directors Award ceremony, <laughs> where I would have likely been in contention for the award as the year's best director, I'd like, I'd like to present myself an award tonight if I may. <laughs> This is a special award presented not only to Western New York's best director of the year, but specifically to a hometown boy of the city of Rochester, long referred to as the image capital of the world, being home to George Eastman, Kodak, and Bao Shalom. This award goes to the director for whom the history of the image city has been merely preliminary to his accomplishments. This award is now presented to Frank Stam. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to accept this award on behalf of myself and the boys at Quadruple A Studios. <laughs>